And here's what we can expect for those overnight lows. All of West Michigan, at least at the main airports that track historical data, all but one expected to either tie or break the overnight low warm record. Battle Creek is the only one not expected to forecasting 75 with a record 76, but Big Rapids potentially six degrees, Holland potentially three degrees, Muskegon looking to tie, Grand Rapids looking to break the record. So a lot of mild air here tonight, and it'll continue to another hot day tomorrow near 90 degrees. We do have a few 70s finally starting to come back as we get into the heart of the 10 o'clock hour. 79 Grand Rapids, still 82 in Kalamazoo, and still a balmy 85 in Muskegon. Look at the feels like temperature at 10 p.m. Still feels like 90 in Benton Harbor, feels like 88 in Muskegon. This is some south, uh, uh, deep south like temperatures and humidity that we're dealing with, something you would see near the Gulf of Mexico. Winds right now starting to get light out of the south, southeast at just five to seven miles per hour, so not doing much on that front to make it feel any cooler outside. Downtown Grand Rapids had a pretty good shower move through. The airport missed it. It was a very isolated uh, thunderstorm that rolled through, passed us here at the station, left a, a quick tenth of an inch before it passed on through. And now in West Michigan, we stand dry, but in the southeast side of the state, they're dealing with some pretty good thunderstorm activity there. Actually, a severe thunderstorm warning just south of Wayne County there. It's been lasting now for about the last 45 minutes. On future track tonight, notice around midnight, even into 1 a.m., there may be some new development of some light showers north of Grand Rapids, isolated rumble of thunder as well. We're going to continue with those on and off pop-up chances, but tomorrow we do anticipate a few more clouds in the midday and lead to a few more showers as well, and then the pop-up chance come into the afternoon hours. Wednesday trending to most likely be the driest day of the week and with it most of the rain will miss us to the north or to the south but again we'll still track an isolated pop-up we're not going to be completely dry across west michigan all week long uh, tomorrow high temperature 90 grand rapids 91 in holland still looking at a few areas to maybe only top out in the upper 80s again some of that cloud cover right in the middle of the day or a shower that rolls through We'll try to suppress those temperatures just a little bit. But regardless, the heat advisory remains in effect through Friday evening. So we still have four full days dealing with heat index values that could push near 100 degrees. A high of 90 tomorrow, two more days around 92 degrees. And again, overnight lows continuing to be in the low to mid 70s. Here's your feels like temperature for Tuesday afternoon, looking around 94, 95. Again, those clouds in the rain may impact that in the short term. And then we get to Wednesday afternoon where widespread 96, 97 degrees for a feel like temperature, but we get a relief on Sunday.